If you thought the recent resignation of Homeland Security Director Kirstjen Nielsen was both surprising and suspicious, then buckle up, folks. According to the latest news, both Secret Service Director Randolph Tex Owls and Deputy Homeland Security Director Claire Grady have been relieved of their respective posts. While CNN had the scoop on Owls, NBC News broke the news on Grady, but interestingly enough, the names and suspicion do not stop here. Somewhere in the mix, Donald Trump also decided to withdraw on his own ICE Director nominee Ron Vitello and believe it or not, there appears to be a strange connection between all of the aforementioned names. That's right. Al's, Grady, and Vitello all answered directly to Kirstjen Nielsen at the Department of Homeland Security, DHS. So what does this tell us, exactly? That Donald Trump is not only trying to rid himself of Nielsen, but also anyone in her corner. On the surface, this doesn't make much sense considering Nielsen was once so quick to round up immigrant children at the border, keep them away from their parents, and leave them to die while in retention. But on the heels of her resignation, multiple major news outlets began reporting that, in numerous cases, Trump often forced her to do things, even if she felt they to the line of illegality. If that's truly the case, then the question now is where does that line begin and end? And beyond that, what else was Trump trying to force her to do? Did her reluctance to do so result in her resignation and any of the subsequent firings in her department? What did she and or the others know, or is this simply another case of scapegoating in hopes of reviving his presidency? Regardless of the answers to those questions, it will be interesting to see what Donald Trump's next move is, especially if it involves more gutting among the leadership at DHS and or the hiring of new people with pasts as equally suspicious as his.